for zeros welcome to the channel today we are talking about 13 new things in new zendler in 2021 let's get started so i'm in my new zendler school and you've probably heard this ad nauseum if you haven't done it already make sure to clear your cache so if you have used if you're using a new account that you created in 2021 then all these features should work fine out of the box so go to the pricing plans and here what i can do is under subscription and this only works for subscription plans i can charge an additional one-time setup fee so if i turn this on i can say hey you know what i want to charge a hundred dollar fee up front and then you get ten dollars a month for the monthly subscription or whatever it is that you are charging so that's where you can find that feature super awesome thank you news alert team for listening to our feedback and implementing this so for this next feature it's called font pairing we're going to go to site and then we're going to go into branding within here you're going to see there is the set your own font pair and what this does is you it allows you to set up your heading font and your body font and that will take precedence every time you create a new page a new course these fonts will automatically be set for your primary and secondary fonts and these fonts are coming in from the google font library as far as i can tell uh, so you, any font that you can find in google you can search here in under fonts and then create that font pairing for your courses you still have the site-wide font options here but if you don't like some of these options then you can create your own using the set your own font pair option so that's the second upgrade that new zealander has given to give more control to us course creators this third one is huge if you are a course creator that resides in my home country india is if i go into site and integrations now i can integrate razor pay and razor pay just like stripe is a payment gateway but this payment gateway works only in india so awesome integration i can't show you how to integrate because i don't have an indian bank account but all my indian course creators out there are hopefully rejoicing right now for the next one we are going to head over to communities uh, a small but very useful functionality is now we can let my community members know whenever there's a new post so i'm in my community and here the new feature is when i write something and i want to post this i want all community members to know that there is a new post that has been made i can click on this little envelope and select this box which sends a notification to all the members whenever you make a new post within your community awesome feature but i would recommend use it sparingly you don't want to flood people's inboxes with all these notifications and while we are talking about communities the other cool thing is now you can enable discussions for your lessons and when you do that you will see those discussions right here but to enable discussions we're going to hop back into courses and for each lesson in your course you can enable the discussion checkbox and when you do this these discussions will show up within your communities as well like we just saw now you can also show discussions in line and if you hover over these question marks it will tell you what those mean so if i preview this you will see that the uh, discussion for that specific lesson is right here in line discussion and that's what that means so those are the two new things related to communities the next feature is the ability to send a personal email to a specific student in the past in order to do this you had to go into an email broadcast and send this as a test email and choose that student's email now i am on a student here and i can simply click on this envelope which says send email it open up opens up this pop-up i just simply type my message and I can hit the send button and that will go just to that student. And that saves me a lot of headache and a lot of workarounds or copying that student's email, pasting it in my uh, email client and then sending it from there. Another highly requested feature, which is now live, is the ability to clone lessons. So if I simply click this clone button, I have the option to 
maybe import a lesson from another course or just duplicate it from within the same course. For example, if I go to my New Zendler Mastery course, let's say I want this 14 day checklist to also be a lesson in this new course, I can copy it. Now you can still clone entire courses, but let's say you have one lesson, which is maybe your welcome message that's consistent throughout each and every course, and you just don't want to recreate that. You can now clone lessons from one course to another, still within the same school, but you have the ability to do that. For our next one, we also now have the ability to turn off progress screens between lessons. Here's what I mean by that. If I go back to the curriculum and preview this as a student, once I finish my first lesson and click the next button, you see this annoying progress screen comes that shows you the next lesson in order. Then I have to click next again to start that new lesson. So all I need to do is go back to my course details and uncheck this box, which says show progress screen between lessons. Once I update this, refresh my screen, we go back to the first lesson. When I click next, it brings me right to the next lesson without showing me that progress screen that I don't really care about. So this saves your students a few clicks, which will come in handy when you have a lot of lessons. Definitely uncheck that box. The next update is around leads and marketing funnels. In the past, whenever someone unsubscribed from a funnel, it was really hard to get them to resubscribe back to your funnels. But now what we can do is if I go to a student uh, to a lead, you can see the email subscription status shows subscribed. If I hit this pencil, I'll be prompted that I am trying to unsubscribe someone and go ahead and do that. Now this person is unsubscribed. That means they will not receive any further communication through New Zendler. But what if that was a mistake done by your student, by a lead, they hit the unsubscribe button in the uh, email by mistake, they want to resubscribe. Well, you can simply hit this pencil again and resubscribe them to that funnel. As easy as that. Super powerful feature. We all were requesting for this and New Zendler has delivered yet again. Now there were some complaints and I was one of them to complain that the webinar templates were not customizable. So again, New Zendler has listened and now we have more custom templates for our webinar. So if I go and create a new live interactive webinar, I can choose different templates. So here on the second step, you can see choose a theme. Uh, while we are on the topic of webinars, the other thing that New Zendler has added on the pro plan, you now get 10 super extended long sessions each month. So if I click on these uh, duration, you can see my normal sessions, my extended sessions and my super extended sessions. So we can use up to 10 super extended sessions every single month. So I'm just going to put a regular session, go to next. Now here you have three different themes to choose from. They're going to be adding more themes and also bringing back that simple theme that some people might be missing. So let's say I pick this theme right here. I'm going to preview it. Uh, you get four different pages. You get the registration page, the thank you page, the waiting page, and then the webinar replay page. And I can simply hit finish. This theme gets applied. You get that same page builder experience that you're used to. And now you can go and edit all these pages. Again, uh, some people have asked for that simple theme to come back because I can understand this can be a lot of work sometimes. So be on the lookout that that simple theme might be coming back. The next one is the ability to add FAQ blocks, pre-made blocks to your pages, to your registration page, your sales page, your course page, whatever the case may be. Simply hover over any of these blocks. Click on the plus button, the blue one, which says add a new block. Here you will see FAQ now on the left side. And then you can choose one of these designs. And then once you have added them, you can click and of course, customize everything about this. So you can change the icon color, which is this uh, Chevron icon here. You can also change the background color, the tile color. So go through all these options and play around with them. But since you're used to the New Zendler editor, you'll be able to figure out how to use these FAQ blocks 
and then under settings you can uh, choose what should be the icon for the expanded item and also the collapsed item and then if you want to expand it by default on so all the questions are automatically expanded five blocks to choose from so definitely play around with this a little bit to get the hang of it and remember to clear your cache the next one is also on the same page that i want to show probably i've already spotted as i'm working through this but let's say that you have added this header here and you've done a ton of work on it customized it the way you want it obviously you cannot export this and put it on a different page but wait now you can you have the save button here and you can save this block i'm going to call this youtube demo and hit save now that block is saved if i go to a different page here let's just go to this page right here i can actually import that block from my custom saved blocks once you have your page editor open simply add a new block and here on the left side now you can see there's an option called custom blocks so here's the one i saved called youtube demo i'm going to select it and that brand new block gets inserted and you didn't have to recreate your work over and over and over again now of course we want more so i'm hoping that soon they'll be able to allow us to export this to our other sites because you do get three sites on the pro plan now let's move on to the next one one of the other most asked feature was the ability to set custom thumbnails so now you can do that uh, i'm just going to show you quickly i have a video let's go to a course where i have videos so i'm within my course here's a video the video is called course build part one so i want this video's name and what we can do now is go to our media library so i'm going to go to site and let's go to media library and search for that exact video here's that video i can go to edit this and now you have the option here to update the thumbnail and now you can upload your custom thumbnail so instead of setting the frame rate which was the original only option that new zendler had you can now upload your custom thumbnail uh, choose anything that you want any jpeg file and that can now be done there's also the question mark here with the recommended size 1280 by 720 saving the best for last we finally have assignments so what i can do now is i can go to courses go to assignments and i can create assignments for my students go back into your courses and here let's go to curriculum i'm just going to add a lesson called demo assignment once you have added the lesson you want to select the assignment option here so i'm going to hit save changes select the assignment option now here's what you can do you can allow your students to upload files or uh, they can upload up to uh, so the max file size is 100 mb i think uh, but there's no limit to the number of files they can upload and then you can also allow text input so your students can write something while they are uploading the file and then you can upload resources to request so let's say you are telling your students to provide you with a essay that you want them to write but the context is in a resource which is a pdf you can attach that pdf as a reference material for this assignment so i'm simply going to add this assignment and of course it's live because i did not set it as draft now let's go and see what this looks like from a student's point of view i'm logged in to my new zendler school as a student and you can see here's that lesson testing the assignment feature so i'm going to hit start on that and this is what it looks like from the student side so let's say i'm logged in here's my text input area here's my upload area and then here's that reference material that i had attached with which in this case was a jpeg file or a png file but what i'm going to do is i'm going to write something as a student and then i'm also going to upload a pdf so i've uploaded the pdf i can remove file i can upload another file not upload any more files so it looks like i can only upload one file at a time so i've added some text uploaded a file and let's just make this text bigger and i'm going to submit this assignment now we can go back as a teacher and see what happens on the back end for us as course creators so i am back in the admin dashboard and the first thing you will notice is that i have a notification bell here with the one if i click on it you'll see it says amit arora has submitted an assignment 
on this it, if you click on it it takes you straight to the assignment and then here you can see the submitted content you can see who or what was submitted so here's the submitted file here's the text that was submitted and then it also shows you the student name and email address that submitted this so if i go to assignments here i'll see all the assignments that were submitted so these are my assignments that are basically lessons within the course and then here's my recent submissions uh, you can see this one is sitting in pending review so i can go and manage that review uh, assignment and i can either approve it reject it or resubmit it so i'm going to say you know you miss a few things uh, please up, uh, give me more details about this assignment before you submit again okay i've made my comment right here i'm going to request to resubmit and then you'll get a message saying are you sure i'm going to say yes let's do it so this is the message that will be sent to your student asking them to resubmit and you can also check the box to send them an email notification i'm going to show you what that email notification looks like so i'm back in my student dashboard logged in as a student here and if i go back to the curriculum let's go back here so i didn't see the notification i am not sure why but i I'm back in the lesson and I do see the feedback here which says please provide more details and resubmit and I do see the resubmit assignment option so I can again click on that provide more details upload it again and that loop will continue you will see a version control here so I have uploaded a new version this is the new version it says right here if we go back in as admin we should see another notification here so now it's been resubmitted and i can go and look at this latest version that was revision one this is the latest revision and it'll just keep adding tabs and again now i can approve it reject it or resubmit it if i go to the previous revision i can see the status on that one is re uh, resubmit requested so i can go to this one see that they have added a new file and they've also added some content here now i'm ready to approve this Put my feedback in here and hit approve uh, so again you can change the message i did not see the email come through i'm in my disposable email inbox and that email never came through i don't know if that's because i'm using yop mail but i never received that email but that is how assignments work in news and with that let's do a quick recap of the 13 features we just covered uh, we have the additional setup fee for one-time payment on subscriptions you have the font pairings and font styles you have the razor pay payment gateway integration you can send emails to notifications to all your community members and you can also enable inline discussions on lessons or uh, you can send direct mail to users from their user profile you can copy paste lessons from another course to a different course uh, you can turn off the progress screen between lessons huge uh, you can resubscribe people to a funnel you have access to new awesome templates for your webinars you have fully customizable faq blocks that have the collapse functionality you can upload custom thumbnails to your videos you can save blocks as custom blocks and then finally you have student assignments and that's a wrap for this video thank you for watching and i will see you on the flip side keep creating